<laughs> boy, there's a treat. And you can have a treat as well, Kiki. Yes, okay. Mickey, you can only have one at a time. Calm down, okay? <laughs> Hello everybody, this is me and welcome back to uh, the stable renovation series. As you can see behind me, we have something new. Duke hasn't actually had a proper look at it yet. Um, so this is a new field shelter for the little boys. I, because they're in separate fields, I call these guys the little boys and then the big boys are in the other field, Joey and Casper. Okay, Mickey. You can have the treat. I know you're very excited and you can have the other one. Um, but anyway, today we are making Duke a new stable. So the plan is the current storeroom is going to be Duke's new stable. And um, we weren't quite expecting to be getting a fourth horse and with winter coming up, um, I when I set everything in there, I was expecting maybe next year to be taking everything out and making it into a stable. But um, as you guys know the story behind Duke, we fell in love with him while filming at World Horse Welfare and he needed a home, he needed to be rehomed. So it was put up in the field today. Mickey was absolutely wild. You little wild beast, hey? Um, you wouldn't think he's 22. Um, so he was having a great time. And um, Duke joined in a little bit as well. He had a bit of a run around. But anyway, yeah, the plan is we're gonna be setting up Duke's stable over in the main yard because winter's coming up and he needs a bit of shelter and things. You know, these two have been doing great over the summer in the field. They've got the sort of, um, they have the trees for shade and things, but it rains a lot here in England, so I'm really happy that they have a nice field shelter to go under. So um, I think I'm gonna have to stop the lick attacks from Mickey right now, and because um, it's gonna be a big project setting up Duke's new stable because there's gonna be a lot of moving things. But now it's time to show you what we're moving all the storeroom stuff into. Thank you. Oh my goodness, my arm. My arm is just, just your saliva. Why are you so obsessed? Like, what does my arm taste of? Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, you might be a little bit confused of where I am right now because we've had a second field shelter added, but this is where all the storage things are gonna go in. So the haylage, maybe the rug racks, and also the shavings as well. Um, where we are is right in front of me is the yard or the new tack room, but this is where all the storage is gonna go. Now, the thing I'm thinking is, am I gonna have to paint both of these in gray? Because I've had enough painting. <laughs> that might be a job for the spring. I don't know, we will see. Over there we have Duke and Mickey stable, but um, thought I would orientate you guys so you have a little bit of a better idea where we are. So we're currently behind the stables. This is the new storage room. We've got some rubber mats down here that we're gonna be using for Duke's new stable. Now, if you come with me around here, you will see that we're now here at the main yard. So if we go over here, you can see we have the new tack room behind me that's currently under construction. We also have the new feed room, again, work in progress. Then we have Joey's stable, my mucking out tools that I've accidentally left out. We have Mickey's stable, we have Casper's stable, and then down here, we're planning to make Duke's stable. So this is the current storage room that's next to the wash bay, and I kind of don't want to show you guys what's in here because it's a, it's just a bit messy, but that's fine. I haven't needed to tidy it up because I knew that I was, I was gonna be doing this today. I'm gonna be clearing it out and it's gonna become a stable, hopefully by the end of today. I really don't want this to be a two day process, but um, let's have a look inside. Look what we've got to play around. I've also been quite clever and have left this to the day where we don't have too much shavings or haylage left, so I don't have to move much over. Also, with the new storeroom being at the back, it's gonna be easier just for like driving up and get everything up there. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna see you guys when hopefully I've moved a little bit more of the stuff in here outside. <laughs>
blimey. Who needs to go to the gym when you can move haylage bales around? But um, I haven't put the shavings in because I've just realized I'm probably gonna use both of those bales of shavings for Duke stables. So there's no point in moving them all the way up here and then all the way back again. But um, that's pretty much the haylage sector of the new shed complete. I think the next plan is to move all of my rugs and my rug racks, rug, rug, that is such a mouthful, my rug racks into the corner over here. And I'll probably keep them in here for now. I don't know if I'll move them into the new tack room or feed room later, we'll see, but I think they'll, they'll fit in here quite well. Oh my goodness, it looks so different in here now. It feels so much more spacious without the um, haylage, the shavings and the pallets in here. Um, so it's starting to feel a little bit more like a stable. Obviously we still have some bits and bobs I need to put away, um, including all of my boxes full of rugs and all of my uh, racks to go with them. So that's gonna be quite a big task. So you know what, I'm gonna have a bit of a rest, but I also have something really exciting that's coming out soon that I really want to show you. So you guys will recognize this helmet, the This Is Me JS1 Pro that I released with Charles Owen about a year ago now, which is wild to think about. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to every single one of you that have got this helmet. It makes me so happy to know that you guys out there that are wearing this are wearing a really good, safe helmet. Um, I have actually unintentionally uh, tested this helmet out. Uh, last year I had a fall on Joey where I landed on the arena fence that I have talked about in a previous video. and. Um, I have since replaced that, so uh, make sure you replace your helmet if you do have a fall and you hit your head. Um, but anyway, super exciting is that I am coming out with a new helmet with Charles Owen. So here we have it. It's a little bit different. I've gone for different colorways. So we have the dark gray and I wanted to add like a, something a little bit different to make it a bit more exciting. So we have the rose gold detailing. Again, I went for more of a neutral color with the darker gray. So it will go with all of your different colorful outfits if you're like me and like to wear a lot of color. Or if you like to wear more plain outfits, it will go with that as well. Um, we have the matching gray hot silk that comes with it. And also on the back is one of my favorite bits is it has the rose gold Charles Owen logo and then it also has my signature with a little kiss at the end as well. So this helmet is actually at a bit of a different price point that you will now see when we have a little look inside. So if you look inside it just looks like a normal helmet but if I take out the liner well one of the lo lovely features I love about both of these helmets is that the liner does come out so if you're like me and gets a little bit sweaty when you're riding you can pop this in the washing machine and you can actually buy an extra one so then you can have an extra one to have in the washing machine while you're riding in one so your head's always nice and fresh um, but anyway you will see that inside here it is bright and yellow and this is because with this helmet um, we've made it even safer we've added some MIPS technology so MIPS is this yellow part here this is a low friction material so what I do is if I give it a little bit of a wiggle you can see it moves and that's because usually when you fall off a horse um, you don't fall directly down on your head, you actually fall at a bit of an angle and um, when you're falling at an angle it causes this rotational force which is really bad because um, it can cause your brain to move. So um, what the MIPS technology does is it lessens the impact of the rotational force um, so the MIPS moves more so your brain moves less. Um, so I really wanted to add this into my new helmet because it's an added safety feature and I want you guys to be safer when you're you're riding um, and that's really important to me so yeah as I said before if I put the liner back in um, and put it on your head it is really nice and comfortable you don't really notice it's there at all when you're riding also to celebrate my new helmet I thought I would do a giveaway with you guys so all the information will be over on my Instagram page at this underscore Esme and all the information on how to enter will be in the giveaway post caption so good luck if you're entering um, which is very exciting but anyway um, now I've done this I I thought I should probably carry on getting Duke stable ready because I think it's going to be quite a process. <laughs> Wow. 
wow, how satisfying. Does it look with all of the boxes in their correct places? I probably need to get four more because all of them are now full. Um, so that's something to put on the to-do list. But anyway, I also have a new stable guard. How cool is this? It's from my sponsors, High Equestrian, and it's got my logo on, it's got Casper's name. I do have one for each of the horses. I don't have one for Duke yet, so I might need to ask for them very nicely, but how cool is this? So instead of having the stable chain across, I can put the guard across. Look how posh this is, especially for when I'm like filming videos like Food Battle, where they're all in their stables. I can put these up and they look so smart. Um, but anyway, now it's time to tackle Duke's new stable. There are a few bits left in there, probably just bits of old haylage that I need to sweep up, and then it might be time to finally put the mats in. So Duke's stable is now empty, ready to put the mats in. The only last thing we have in here is this little scales. Um, so when this was the storage room where we'd make the haylage, um, I'd put the hay net on here and then I could see how much exactly I'm giving the horses. So it's time to take this down and get the mats in. I've got to say they're quite comfy to have a little sit on. Um, so the last thing I need to do is put some shavings in here and also some hay as well. I've just put the hook up so that's all ready. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty nice in here. Obviously, um, Duke isn't used to being in a stable. He's from World Health Welfare where he's used to just being out on the field. So we've carried on doing that. Obviously, he's been out on the um, hard standing, on the yard quite a few times. So what we're going to do is, to ease him into it, we're at night going to put him on the hard standing with access to the stable. So if he wants to, he can come in, he can have a lie down, he can have a bit of food and things. Um, but I don't want to shut him in because he can get quite nervous. It's not his favourite thing. So we want to make it a nice positive experience and take baby steps with him to get him used to being in a stable. Um, but anyway, that is the plan. Um, very excited to see what he thinks. I might just give him a bit of um, bucket dinner to uh, entice him in and make it really nice for him. But anyway, time to get this place decked out with some shavings. <laughs> now almost complete he's got his haylage he's got a massive shavings bed probably a little bit too big for him but you know what I want to make it nice and cozy for him and he's also got his water as well and the last thing we need to do is put up his stable nameplate so I actually made this at the Windsor Hall show thanks to the profiles range who very kindly taught me how to make it I had so much fun but anyway now it's time to put it up now I was thinking all the other horses have their nameplates on their stable doors but they have their stable doors closed and Dukes is probably gonna be open for quite a while so I think the plan is to maybe put it here so then it's um, kind of in the same area, just not on the door, and then everyone can see it. I think it's really cute. I also need to do like a yellow horseshoe for him as well, so might need to do that in another video. But yeah, I think, I think here will look nice. It's now up. Let's go and grab Duke, get his head collar, lead him in, make it a happy and positive experience and see what he thinks. All right, Duke, are you excited to see your first ever stable? of your very own, yeah? I've got lots of lovely food in here. It's gonna be great. Okay, up you come, up, up. There we go. Straight to the yellow bucket, of course. So far, so good, guys. It looks like he's really enjoying his dinner. I do still need to take his head collar off before I make sure all the horses are good to go to bed and things. But yeah, we have done a lot today. We've cleared out the storeroom, put it in the new storeroom, 
set up Duke's new stable and introduced him to you know the stable life as well obviously again he's going to be free range but hopefully he's going to love it but before today's video ends i'd just like to you know say thank you again to everybody who's purchased my this esme js1 pro i'm so excited for you guys that are going to be getting my new helmet um also at the end of today's video i will put a little video at the end that explains mips a little bit better and and in more scientific terms compared to myself but yeah thank you so much everybody for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye <laughs> oh what a cutie he is wolfing down that dinner